Hello, I'm Pete Gerlach. I have been a family therapist for 31 years and an avid observer of human beings for over 70 years. And one of the things that I have studied is something that concerns you and all the rest of us, which is relationships. I want to offer you in this video a quiz. The purpose here is twofold. One is to validate my overall premise, which you'll find in all my videos and in my related website, the Break the Cycle educational website, that a major problem among most people, whether they're college educated or not, is unawareness. That is not stupidity, it's lack of knowledge. So part of the reason I'm making this video is to ask you to test my theory using yourself as a subject. Are you unaware of something that's pretty vital? The other reason I'm making this video is to hopefully raise your motivation to study at least the first four lessons in my self-improvement free nonprofit website. <clears throat> Uh, lesson four among those lessons is about how to improve the relationships in your life. So this is a quiz to help you learn what do you know or what would you like to know about the relationships in your life. To begin, would you acknowledge that the relationships that are presently affecting you, stop and think. How many relationships do you have right now? To answer that question, you have to mentally sort out, well, what's a relationship? So whatever your answer, would you agree that the relationships in your life, past and present, have ranged from uh, nourishing and nurturing to neutral to toxic or stressful. Relationships have an effect on us situationally and over time, especially primary relationships and parental relationships and sibling family relationships. So think of the people in your life and consider them as you try and answer these questions. An option you have here is to pause the video after I ask each of these questions and try answering it out loud and then resume the video or experience the whole video at once and then go back and pick out the ones that are interesting to you. At the end I'll give you a, a link to the web article or articles that answer these questions, at least offer you my opinion on them. Okay, you ready? See how much you know about relationships. What is a relationship? If a 10-year-old person asked you that, what would you say? Why do relationships exist? When does a relationship start? What causes or prevents bonding between two human beings. How would you define a toxic relationship? Imagine trying to explain that to an intelligent um, early teen. What's a toxic relationship? How do you know? What makes primary relationships primary? How do they differ from all other relationships? Here's a challenging one. How would you describe or define interpersonal love?
There's another question. What would you say is unique about the relations between typical parents and children? A related question is, what's unique about family relationships compared to, say, relating to neighbors, um, friends, co-workers? What's different? What's unique about family relationships? <clears throat> How would you describe having a relationship with God, however you define God? What would you say is unique, what's different about the relationships bet between people who work together, co-workers? What's unique about those relationships compared to other types of relationships? How would you describe a reciprocal relationship and what is the alternative to a reciprocal relationship? Here's a fundamental question. I challenge you to name six specific requisites that any person, adult or child, needs in order to have a satisfying, nurturing relationship. There are at least six fundamental requisites. If you don't know what they are, how can you problem solve and acquire them? There's another question. What is meant by an intimate relationship? What do you feel an intimate relationship is? How is that different from non-intimate relationships? What would you say is the difference between a friendship and an acquaintance? A friend and an acquaintance. What's the difference? Can you say? How would you say that gender affects the relationships in your life? If at all. Does it have an effect? If so, what? How would you define the widespread stressful condition of codependence? Some people say codependency. What is that? Can you define it? Do you know if you have it? Do you know if others you care about have it? Codependence. What is the common relationship dynamic that's called enabling? He enabled her. You know what that means? Can you define it to a young person? What is an interpersonal relationship boundary? What is that? Who makes it? Why do they make it? Where does it come from? Why is this important? Explain that to a young person. The last question I have for you is, why do some relationships thrive and other relationships degrade, die, and end? Why is that? Notice how you're feeling right now. Pause and think, how many of these could you answer confidently? Don't shame yourself, but would you agree many people would not know how to answer all these questions, the 20 questions, to answer these clearly and accurately? If you want some more information to check your answers or learn some answers, here is the web address of an article that will lead you to answers of all 20 of these questions. Here also is a link to a group of other videos that I have made about Lesson 4, which is focused on improving all the relationships in your life. I hope you found this thought-provoking and interesting. Thanks for watching.